Hey, it's Ben's from launchflows.com. In this tip of the day, I've got a question that came in from Anna. She says, Spence, you're amazing. Thank you, by the way. I would like to offer a free lead magnet as a download, followed by a OTO or one-time offer of a paid product after they check out with a lead magnet. I have eight unique product pairs that I want to use this with going forward, so it would be neat to have a template I can use again and again. Let's look at the actual funnel and then we'll go through how it works and I'll show you how to set it up as easily as possible with launch flows. So what we've got here is an initial free product. This is just basically one of the components that we do all the time in launch flows where we can use it to register and log somebody in with a free product. But because the way launch flows makes this easy, it hides all of the free emails, it hides the free product from the dashboard and it acts just like a third party form plugin. It has the benefit of registering and logging somebody in so they're ready to go for the actual paid upsell or in this case a one-time offer. So in this case we've got a free lead magnet that's going to go to a special checkout page. That means that we've configured it with a one-click option to show only the fields we want and in doing so it makes it really easy for the person to get through to the next step where we're going to take them to the one-time offer product sales page. Now, you don't have to have a separate sales page. You can actually use the single product page itself for this. It's up to you. I also want to note that in some cases, people might want to combine these together. You might want to have your lead magnet checkout page that already includes the one-time offer. In other words, it becomes more like an order bump so that they get the offer at the time of actually registering. In this case, I'm going to leave them as separate pages. So when the person is then offered the sales uh, product or the one-time offer product, they can either say yes, in which case they'll be taken to the regular checkout page. You can have an unlimited number of checkout pages with launch flows. So here I'm just going to use the global checkout page, which is fine, but I could have a one-to-one -one matching or pairing between these two things, the sales page and the checkout page. That's important to the question of, I have eight unique product pairs. You could literally make these very customized just for the products that are being offered. If the person says no, they're bypassing that extra checkout and being taken to the thank you, which will then reflect whatever information you want them to see. In this case, we're gonna put a link in the thank you page that takes them to the location where they can download the digital deliverables for both the lead magnet and the one-time offer. Let's take a look at how this works. So if we go over here, I'm on incognito mode and I've got just a really plain Jane sales page to demonstrate that what I can do is create any kind of sales page I want anywhere on the internet with launch flows. And this is going to instantly add the lead magnet product into the custom checkout. So when I click on this, the person is taken to what otherwise looks like a normal registration form. And again, as I'll show you on the other side, we can customize this to look like we want. Here we're gonna put in the person's name. So let's say it's Bob Buyer at test.com. Bob Buyer. Yes, I want in now. And Launch Flows also enables you to customize the button as easy as you want. It works with any of your uh, favorite page builders and themes. Here in this example, I'm using one of my favorites, which is the Cadence theme and the Cadence blocks. You can use it with Divi, Elementor, Generate Press, anything you want, even the full site editing. Although I want to caution you, it's so easy to just use what I'm showing you because we've already got these patterns ready to go. You can just copy and paste and get exactly what you see here. So now I've been taken after that registration and onboarding to the offer. Now I can do this with either our launch flows uh, component, which gives you all the pieces you want ready to use, or you can do like I did. I just use the pieces that I wanted to and organize them with some other Gutenberg blocks. If you have Elementor or Divi and so forth, you can also do it there. Here I've just said, but wait, get this offer now. If they say yes, they will be taken to the checkout for that product. If they say no, they'll be taken to the thank you. Let's go ahead and say, yes, I want it. So now the one-time offer is being sent directly to a custom checkout that again, I made as my global, but I can have a custom version of this for every product. So for example, I can have additional information that talks about just this combination. Here, I've also arranged it in a very tight format. We have lots of cool ready to go patterns that you can just copy and paste. By the way, I might as well just show you if you go to patterns.launchflows.com, you can see many of these patterns here. You can just browse around through some of the various things I've shown and demonstrated in my videos and copy what you need and then simply 
paste it into your checkout. Here what I've got is the bare minimum. You'll notice, by the way, since the person's already registered and logged in, they don't have to put their information in again. In fact, if I wanted to, I could just hide these fields because I know the person's already registered and logged in. I also have information about this particular product. I can hide any of the extra details that are extraneous. I've got a coupon code if it's necessary, or we can get rid of that. And then the person could just check out. So I'm going to use the test codes here for Stripe and place the order. And now that they've checked out, they're taken to a custom thank you page. And I want to point out a couple things that are easy with launch flows. First of all, we can use the dynamic capability of Gutenberg blocks to show the person their actual username. We show them the order details and we give them the link that allows them to see the orders and go to their dashboard so they can actually get the deliverables. Here's the order that they paid for. Notice they do not see the free lead magnet order because LaunchFlows conveniently hides that to avoid cluttering their dashboard. Notice in the download section that they can get the actual products that are coming from both the free lead magnet as well as the one-time offer. Here they can click and it could be a PDF, it could be an image, whatever you want gets downloaded to their desktop. Super easy, very convenient. Best of all, now their payment methods have already been saved by LaunchFlows. In this case, the Stripe account is ready to go. So in the future, we can simply offer them something where they click once and they get instant checkout. These are some of the ways that LaunchFlows makes this super easy. Let me show you on the front end how this works out. If we go to our site here, let's first of all talk about the actual things we need. LaunchFlows, you only need a checkout page, a product page, a thank you page is recommended, and then you can do everything else you need from there. So let's start out with the pages I used. As I indicated, I've got the default things that are always necessary for WooCommerce. So I do have a cart, I do have my global checkout, I have the special lead magnet checkout that I'm using for that free uh, onboarding. I have the My Account, which is standard for WooCommerce. That's the front page, the sales page that has the button that has the one click. I also have a shop, even though I'm not using it, it can exist because you can have a mix and match between sales funnels or regular uh, shop type of uh, behavior. And then finally, there's the custom thank you. I also have created the products that I need. One of the things you can also do, which is very nice, is you can categorize your products and your pages so that they're all aligned together. For example, I can create a category called Sales Funnel 1, and then all my products and all my pages are organized in one neat spot. You don't need to have a custom post type for that with LaunchFlows. Here I've got the free lead magnet. Let's look at how I set it up. LaunchFlows makes it easy to use the default behavior of WooCommerce products without needing to do anything extra or special. This is really convenient because WooCommerce has the capability built in. You just need a little help with LaunchFlows. I've created a simple product, virtual and downloadable. It's important you set the price to zero in order for LaunchFlows to turn this into a lead magnet. Next, I've added the downloadable files option where I've included that file. It could be a PNG file, it could be an image file, it could be a PDF, or it can even redirect to another location. Either way, you can configure the options here for somebody to get this. Now, I noted in my documents here that this was a situation of no marketing automation. This is the simplest way of doing this, but there's many other ways to do this as well if you include marketing automation, which I talk about in other videos. Here at LaunchFlows, we've configured where does somebody go on their next step. And as we talked about, we want them to go to the special lead magnet checkout page instead of the standard checkout. That's because we are using this option here called instant registration. This cleans up that checkout page and eliminates anything you don't want somebody to see, and it shows only the things that you need. We've also made this a solo checkout product because we want to make sure that this only gets purchased, if you will, checked out by itself, not with another paid product, which will change the whole outcome of the sales funnel. And then finally, we did instant clean sales page because we don't want to show any extraneous things on this product page in the event that we wanted to use it. Now, you might have noted that I didn't use this product itself. I used a different sales page. But if I wanted to, I could have actually made the sales page out of the product itself. And when I do that, I can customize it any way I want. But even out of the box, just with launch flows, I can get rid of all the extraneous things using that one checkbox for instant registration, or I should say, for instant clean sales page. And now I've got the same result. I've got a very clean thing. But to be honest, I kind of like the fact that if I go and just make a regular sales page, I can do that instead. Now, how did I make the sales page send that product to the checkout? Super simple. All I need to do is once I've configured the product, I then go to the product 
settings itself, and you'll notice that we have an option called Launch Flows Checkout Link. Here I copied that, and I simply added that into this button as the destination link. It's as simple as that with Launch Flows. Any product you make can allow it to be sold or sent to the checkout from anywhere in the internet. Let me prove the point by just pasting what I copied, and you'll see that that behavior will send the lead magnet product to that custom lead magnet checkout. Easy. Now, let's talk about the other pages I've done. I've created the custom checkout for the lead magnet using launch flows. Actually, before I do that, let's go to one-time offer. This is just a regular product, except the difference is I've configured it so that it has an actual price and that it gets sent to the regular global checkout. You'll also note that I've done, uh, in this case, a custom product layout. There's lots of products available that allow you to customize the layout of single products in WooCommerce. So Launch Flows' option is available to you if you, like me, want to just stick with the simplest stuff possible. Plus, these patterns are things that I would share in our pattern library. However, if you're using Divi, Elementor, a third-party product, you may want to just go ahead and design this yourself. When you use a third-party setup, it's important to go ahead and disable the layout capability of launch flows to avoid potential conflicts. And in doing that, you just go to launch flows, and there's an option in here that allows us to disable all of the product layout and block functionality. In my case, I want the capability. If you want to avoid conflict with your particular page builder, especially like Element or Divi uh, and so forth, just enable that option. All right, so now that I've got this product, you'll notice I've got a downloadable, I've got the price set of 50, and I changed launch flows to say that in this case, I want this product to go to the global checkout. And that aligns with what we talked about here. Send this to the global checkout, not to the custom lead magnet checkout. And that's all there is to it. Now, what I also have is that after somebody is done post checkout, I want them to go to the thank you page because that's what aligns with this. Global checkout goes to thank you. Whenever this product is in here, regardless of whether they say, yes, I wanna buy it or whether they say no thanks, it can go to the right page, which is the thank you page. And then finally, let's look at the layout itself. Here, because I was customizing it, I wanted to use the option for select product template with launch flows. I chose the blank template. That way, none of the default product stuff would show up. Instead, I could just set my arrangement up using the Gutenberg blocks. Here, I used a two-column row, section one, section two. In the first section, I aligned everything in the middle, and I put the product images uh, block in place to show the default featured image. In the other section, I added a simple headline or advanced text. I put in the product description block. I then added two uh, links. One is a standard button where I've put the product direct to checkout link, the one I was just talking about before. I put that in as the destination. But then for the no thanks, I instead put in the location of the thank you page. So I could do this with a component that we've got called upsell, but I would rather in this case just do a custom because I'm gonna make this configuration the way I want it. Now, if you wanna do this over and over again, the easiest way to do it is either A, you can choose all of the components and you can save these as a reusable block, or you can go ahead and copy the content and save it as a pattern. Launch Flows makes it easy to create the layout, and then you simply copy the content so you can reuse it again and again, and it will pick up the particular product that you're using it on. So you don't have to make it again and again and again, you simply have to make sure that it's set up for the products that you want this to work on. Very simple, regardless of whether you're advanced in Gutenberg or not. So now that I've got that, let's talk about the thank you page and wrap it up. Here, the pages that I created are pretty much the standard WooCommerce stuff. And there's lots of details that you may want to talk to us about for free over at Launch Flows. Uh, but in general, I've set it up so that somebody can be registered as a user, not as a guest checkout. I've also set up the thank you page with a couple components that allow somebody to see links to their orders and so forth. So here I've gone ahead and used the pattern library, and this is a very popular layout for me. I used, uh, first of all, a headline that has a bit of dynamic content in it where I show the current user's name. 
after thanks. I also added the launch flows thank you component to show what they just ordered. And then here, the review previous orders is a link to the my account dashboard area into the orders tab, which takes them right where they want to go. If I wanted, I could also do the same thing and just have a link that goes right to the downloads area. This is nice though, because it's more generic and I can use it on more than just the downloadable product orders. Either way, this can also be saved as a reusable, so you can customize this for a per product sales funnel. So as was requested, if you have eight of these, you can make the various pages, organize them with category, and then just copy or clone all of them as simple as going to your dashboard over here. And I would go, for example, into pages and you can categorize or group various things and just clone them. Use the duplicate or use one of the free plugins that allows you to copy what you've already got. I've done this in many client sites and we're able to do many hundreds of products because you're simply cloning what's already there and all you need to do typically is just change maybe a product ID in the checkout link. This is Spence from launchflows.com. If you're interested in help with doing this kind of stuff, I encourage you to either write us at help at launchflows.com or come on over to wplaunchify.com, my consulting agency, where you can schedule a free call. We're able to set you up as a freelance web designer, an agency, or an individual who's doing this for your own business, as simple as a free call. Oftentimes, it's just a matter of pointing you in the right direction. However, sometimes you might want to do a paid consultation with us for an hour to get you past all of the hurdles and or consult with your client over the specialties that we're experts in. Membership, marketing automation, online courses, and e-commerce. That leaves the things that you love to do and you know to do for you, and we come in like the specialist that complements what you're doing so the client gets what they need and you don't lose out on jobs. If you're the actual site owner itself, you can also get our help by instead of following my DIYs, which by the way, I love that people do, you can just get us to do it for you. In a free call, we can talk about it. In a paid consultation, we can actually go through step by step and set up your business to avoid all of the hassles. It's economical based upon the timing saved, the frustrations that you avoid, and more. I encourage you to check us out at wplaunchify.com with your launch flows type sales funnel solution. If you would like to suggest uh, something for me to do in a future video, you can also just go over to help at launchflows.com or visit us on launchflows.com and use the little pop-up click for help and say, hey Spence, I need some help or I would like to suggest something for my video. I hope that you'll like and subscribe to this if you see it on YouTube. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video.